Welcome to my channel. Aliyah plane crash. Aliyah Dana Houghton was born on January 16, 1979 in Brooklyn. Aliyah was an American singer, actress, dancer, and model. She had earned the nicknames Princess of R&B, as well as Queen of Urban Pop. Aliyah had first appeared on television at the age of 10. But at the age of 12, she was signed to Jive Records. R. Kelly would soon become her mentor and lead songwriter. Her first album sold over 3 million copies. She finally ended her contract with Jive Records, and went on to sign with Atlantic Records. She worked with a number of different artists for her second album. And was coming very successful in the music industry. Sadly however, this would be cut short, as on August 25, 2001, when Aaliyah was just 22 years old, she tragically died in a plane crash in the Bahamas. At the time, she was off to film a video for her latest album. On board the plane at the time were nine people. Sadly, no one survived. The bodies, some of which were badly burned were taken to the morgue at Princess Margaret Hospital in Nassau, where they remained until relatives could make a positive identification. During the investigation, it was found that the plane had been heavy overloaded. The plane had crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all those on board. It was later found that the pilot had traces of cocaine and alcohol in his system. He was also not registered with the FAA to fly for Black Hawk International Airways, and was not qualified to fly the aircraft. It was believed that when the plane was loaded up, the weight of the nine people on board had not be considered. Aaliyah's family would later go on to file a wrongful death lawsuit against the aircraft's operators, Black Hawk International Airways, which would later be settled out of court. Then in May 2002, Aaliyah's parents filed a lawsuit against the record company alleging negligence. In September 2003, this would be settled with an agreement to keep the monetary details confidential. A private funeral was held for Aaliyah in New York. Following the singer's death, there was an increase in sales of her third album, which had been released only a month before. It sold over 187,000 copies in the first week. This is a tragic death that could easily been avoided. We forever remember Aaliyah and her family, as well as the other eight people who also died in the crash. May you never be forgotten. Aaliyah's music will continue to live on. A big thank you to my viewer who suggested today's content. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to view other content.